Gone are the days when being able to navigate a computer set you apart from the crowd. Even though pretty much everybody is tech-savvy these days, the myths surrounding computers have stuck around. So, are you guilty of still believing things like? 1. Viruses and spyware are slowing your computer down? Whenever my computer started getting slow, I used to think it's the handiwork of either some deadly computer crashing virus or a crazy hacker who's installed a spyware and wants to clean out my bank account. And so I'd update my old antivirus or maybe even install a new one. When that didn't work, I'd get my computer formatted. Basically, I was jumping through hoops thinking all these hackers around the world were after my computer. Because I'm just so special like that, right? And I was bound and determined to outsmart them. Yet my computer was still super slow with every attempt. Well, I finally figured it all out. My PC wasn't infected with some virus. The hard drive was simply overloaded and I had some outdated software bringing everything down to a snail space. So next time your computer starts acting up, see a local computer repair tech to get a system tune-up first. That's what I do now, and it works every time. 2. Automatic updates slow down your computer Speaking of outdated programs, I'll admit that this can sometimes be the case when it comes to a slow computer, but such cases are so rare that they should be considered an exception, not the rule. Most of the time, automatic updates do a whole lot of good things like closing down loopholes, creating barriers against lapses that might otherwise get exploited in the future, and fine-tuning the software to use fewer resources and run faster. So if you've been postponing those pop-ups to update your system, now is the time to press the Allow button. However, keep in mind that you should only update software that you've knowingly installed, not those that might have snuck their way through. It's best to say goodbye to those ones. And if you are unsure whether you must uninstall a program, you have your friendly neighborhood tech guy to ask for help. Or a tech-savvy programmer friend, they come in really handy. Three. Leaving your computer on overnight is bad. I've heard this argument so many times that I almost started believing it myself. Plus, it really did feel like my computer was working smoother in the morning than it had been the night before I shut it off. But after talking to a few of my friends, I found out that this assumption was simply a figment of the imagination. On the contrary. Putting your computer on sleep mode while you go into sleep mode yourself is a better and faster way to resume working when you wake up in the morning. But keep in mind that just like any other machine, computers also have an operating lifespan. So by keeping it running longer, you might be reducing its time here on Earth. Therefore, if there's no need for the computer to stay running, you should ideally turn it off. Also, if you plan to travel with your laptop, it's best to switch it off. Movement and jerks while the laptop is on can damage internal components and data. 4. Macs don't need an antivirus A lot of people think that Macs and Linux don't have those problems with viruses that we hear about so often with Windows. While this may have been true in Macs early days, we're living in a totally different world today. In 2015, a senior analyst working with the antivirus company Bitdefender said that the Mac OS X software had more high-risk vulnerabilities than all versions of Windows combined. Today, however, we have an updated Mac OS, but the threats still loom high. Just last year in January, a malware called Mamie infected thousands of Mac computers, allowing the virus creators to see your computer's internet traffic. This means they got a peek of the web browsing you were doing on your computer. Pretty scary, right? That's why investing in a good antivirus is a smart thing to do no matter what OS you use. 5. You have to defragment your disk regularly Maybe this was true back in the old days, but Windows OS has evolved since then and made defragmenting obsolete. 
The Windows versions that we use today, like Windows 7 or higher, don't need to be manually defragmented. Windows has automated the process for us. Thanks, Microsoft. But as always, there is an exception. If you are a heavy gamer or someone who uses memory-draining apps, then spending a few bucks on a fast defragmentation utility would certainly be a smart investment. Six, you need to safely remove a flash drive. Now, there are two kinds of people in this world, those who safely remove a USB and the ones who yank it out without a care in the world. Which team are you on? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, if you're like me and super nervous about messing up your flash drive and losing all your precious files, I guess we can now all rest assured. Microsoft recently confirmed that you no longer need to use the safely remove hardware and eject media button. Windows 10 default policy now lets you remove a flash drive without clicking any additional icons and worrying about data loss. Of course, don't yank it out as it's still saving or downloading something, then you might be in trouble. But other than that, feel free to skip the button. 7. Viruses can't get past antiviruses. Yep, don't hang on that anti part so strongly because viruses can, in fact, get past antiviruses. Well, great, there goes my sense of security. So how on earth can I keep my computer safe now? After all, in today's paperless world, we all have our personal information, banking details, and all kinds of other important and private documents saved on our computers. The cold hard truth is that the risk of a computer getting infected is a reality we must learn to live with. No matter what we do, our computer will have vulnerabilities that a determined hacker or an evolving virus can exploit. But it's not all gloom and doom, folks. You can still discourage viral infestation by being careful about which sites you visit, not clicking spammy or strange-looking links or attachments, and using a good quality antivirus. And remember to always update your OS and antivirus. Companies regularly release patches and fix vulnerabilities as they come to know about them. A regularly updated computer is a safer computer, but not an immune one. Viruses are a real threat, so be ready with a plan B in case one finds its way into your PC. 8. There's no way to recover data that's been deleted from the hard drive. Have you ever watched the show Mr. Robot? In one episode, you can see people destroying their hard drives by putting them in a hot furnace. But why such a dire step? They could have easily deleted all the information on the disk, right? Eh, not quite. Even if you delete something and clean out that recycle bin, it doesn't wipe the memory of the information. The OS just plays tricks on you and makes you believe that the data has been erased. In reality, it's still there. Data recovery software can bring that deleted information back. So what's the way out? The answer lies in some data shredding software that you can easily purchase or maybe even download for free. Therefore, if you don't want to be caught red-faced by someone who's a little tech-savvy, you'd better use it. What are some other common computer myths that people still believe? Let me know down in the comments if I missed anything. And don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click that subscribe button to stay on the bright side of life.